Up in West Africa, Ghana's economy is also working on its recovery plan after the economic damage inflicted by the COVID-19 pandemic this year. But there are plenty of warning signs that banks are struggling and they will continue to struggle to offer credit lines to businesses. Moody's is forecasting a rise in non-performing loans in the second largest cocoa producer in the world as growth dwindles this year to less than 1%. CGTN's Nabil Ahmed Rufai has this report from Accra. Desmond Lakai is at the Ghana Trade Exhibition to find customers for his handmade bags. As a startup, he's been hit hard by the coronavirus pandemic, and he now hopes to revamp his business as COVID-19 restrictions have been lifted. Pre-COVID, we were doing um, an average, we are doing bags, <laughs> we are hitting averagely, hypothetically, say we are doing about 8,000 to 9,000 a month. During the COVID, everything went zero because no one was buying and even when they buy it was locked down so no one would even wear anything out so we already we, we had to start pushing to our clients and start making uh, price cuts startups and small and medium-sized enterprises in ghana usually rely on loans to invest in their businesses although lakai has yet to take up a loan for his business he says anyway it would be hard for him to pay it back due to the economic shocks caused by the pandemic some financial institutions say COVID-19 has forced many businesses to default. It's affected loan repayment to some extent, but um, we are expecting that the effect will not be that much because of one, the improvement in um, loan processes and procedures, recovery mechanism put in place. The Bank of Ghana says non-performing loans jumped from 14.3% in 2019 to 15.3% in October this year due to the pandemic. Credit ratings agency, Moody's, in its 2021 outlook for banks in Africa, has projected non-performing loans to double from the 2019 average rate of 11.1%. But some financial institutions in Ghana are hoping for a positive outlook next year. Having come out from the financial sector reforms and all these things, we are expecting that um, processes will be much improved next year. Going into 2021, the effect will be that institutions will be more prudent in uh, appraising clients, bearing in mind that uh, a pandemic such as COVID is still around. Still, Moody's says SMEs are at risk of not getting loans next year. It anticipates that rising government arrears could affect its loan repayment capacity. The government has reduced the provisioning requirements on loans from 10 to 5 percent, leading to a capital relief of $19 million to banks. It has also requested banks to allow a 3 to 12 months moratorium on the principal on loans given to customers in the worst pandemic sectors. Lakai says his business would benefit from an expansion if he is able to secure a loan next year. He hopes the economy rebounds stronger so that banks can be in a better capacity to offer loans. Nabil Ahmed Rufai, CGTN, Accra, Ghana.